Hey, this is Ryan Bowman from Web Eminence. I want to show you today how to buy a domain name. Sounds pretty easy for a lot of people, but I get a lot of people contacting me who aren't sure how to do it. So I wanted to show a real basic overview of how to search for a domain name and purchase one on GoDaddy. So I'm on the, uh, the GoDaddy homepage. If you um, feel like doing me a favor, you can go to the URL on the screen, uh, webeminence.com slash GoDaddy. And uh, if you make a purchase there, I will get a small commission and I'd be very grateful. I would promise to pay you back by offering help in getting your website started. So feel free to contact me after you purchase your domain name. So once you're on the GoDaddy homepage, uh, it may look different depending on uh, when you visit the page. They change their page all the time. So you're usually going to find a, a spot to search for a domain name. So what you're going to do is, you know, I'd recommend first, uh, before you do this, writing down a list of potential domain names that you have spent some time thinking about and maybe pick your top five and, um, and, and then pick your top one and search for it here. So as an example, I'm going to search for my website domain name because I know it's already taken. And I want to show you what that looks like. So I type in Web Eminence. And here are the options for top level domain name. Usually you'll just leave it on top on dot com, but you can select a different one and then click search. And since my website domain name is already taken, they're going to tell me webeminence.com is already registered and they'll show me some other options. So they're showing me some some options with different top level domains like dot co, dot info, dot net. So if any of those uh, are a good choice for you, you can go ahead and click buy and continue with the checkout process. I usually recommend .com. It's obviously the most popular and, and people just know it and assume it often for uh, commercial websites. If you are a nonprofit organization, it would be appropriate to use a .org domain. But I would normally recommend going for a .com or maybe a .net domain. Those are probably the two most popular and uh, you know most respected uh, dot info you can see is really cheap in this case it's 299 and it, you, it tends to be used a lot for spammy sites and in low reputation sites so I'd recommend just staying away from it if you can so if you find that the domain name that you searched for is already taken you can scroll down and you'll probably see some options for doing another search so I'm gonna search for something that probably isn't taken let's say Who's he, what's it, dot com. I don't think anybody's purchased that yet. All right, so they say congratulations, it's available. So you can go ahead and click buy to get started with the checkout process. They're going to offer you some other domains also and maybe offer you um, to buy some other options for that domain like dot net, dot info. But um, I'd recommend just buying the one domain name unless you know that you need more than one. So I'm going to go ahead and click continue to check out. And GoDaddy is notorious for offering different add-ons when you purchase a, d a domain name. They'll sell you hosting, a website builder, email addresses. So I recommend not, not purchasing any of these from GoDaddy unless you know that you need them and want them. But most people would be fine to just purchase the domain name and lock that up and pay you know the ten dollars per year for the domain name and then decide later on web hosting the email addresses because you may not know yet even though you know what domain name you want you may not know where you're going to build your website where you're going to get hosting so you don't really want to lock in to GoDaddy uh, hosting and email services just yet you could always add them later if you need to so just leave these unchecked and hit continue. So GoDaddy is going to default to a two-year registration, so that's going to cost $12.99 a year for this domain. You could change it to one year to just lower to cut the cost in half. There's an option for making your domain name private, which will keep the uh, public information associated with your domain name private. If you're interested in that, you can read a blog post I wrote about that. I'll link to it in this post and on this video. But you can always add that later too. So you could just leave it on public and, and read more about it later and add that at a later date. So if you're buying one domain name, you should see the price is around you know, $10 to $15. This one is 
$11.17. I'm going to go ahead and click checkout. And here they're going to ask you to create an account if you don't have one or log in to your account. So after you've created your account or logged into your existing account, you can select your payment method here with a credit card, PayPal, or gift card, change your billing information. You can click a link here. Right now it says use alternate to change your contact information that's associated with your new domain name. And then when you're ready, just click place order to process the order. And after the order is processed, you should get some email confirmations and be able to view your domain name within your GoDaddy account. So I hope that helps in setting up your domain name. If you have any questions, make sure to contact me. If you're ordering a domain name, then it's uh, pretty safe to assume that you're looking to get a website set up. If you'd like some help with that, make sure to go over to my website and check out my services at webeminence.com. Thanks for watching and we will see you on the next video.